This video is going to show you what to expect on your first road training day. There's a few things you have to understand about going on the road. Going on the road for most students is one of the scariest things and can be nerve wracking for both the student and the instructor. That's why we've cr created a curriculum where if you follow it, by the time you get onto the road, it's just another stepping stone for you. So here's a few things to understand before you actually go on the road with one of our instructors. Of course, before you ever go on a road with one of our instructors, you've had to go on our driving simulators. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, get your butt in a driving simulator and ask an instructor. Our simulators are great tools to use to one, teach you how to shift before we ever have to teach you how to shift in the real road. It's gonna make sure that you're a lot more comfortable by the time we get on the real road on the real truck. If you get onto the truck and you do not know how to shift, meaning you have no idea where the gears are, you have no idea about the concept of upshifting or downshifting, if you don't know what clutch clutch gas means or clutch gas clutch means, then you are not ready to go on the road. You must ask an instructor to set you up on our training simulator to teach you how to shift properly. All right. So if you've been following your curriculum correctly, that means that you are now ready to go on the road. A few things to get started. When you're getting inside the vehicle and you have the instructor with you, make sure you adjust the seat before you even put on your seatbelt. How do you adjust the seat properly? You want to make sure that you're far enough back so uh, you're not hugging the steering wheel so you have more, more control you want to make sure that you're able to touch the clutch with your toes itself, okay? Once you feel comfortable in the seat, of course, put on your seatbelt. Wait for the instructor to give you directions to turn on the engine. When you are turning on the engine, just like any other time that we turn on a truck, you must perform a safe start, and you should know what that is by now. Now, once it's time to go, you're going to be in the yard uh, starting off, most likely. In the yard, we're going to start off in third gear. That's right, I said third gear. I know in the simulators, we made you start off in first gear, the whole time but in the yard we're going to start you off in third gear so you're going to put the vehicle in third gear when and we're going to release the brakes and you're going to come off the clutch it's not like a car so i tell you never press on the clutch and on the gas at the same time okay all you're going to do is burn out the clutch there's more than enough torque inside the truck itself and the truck is not going to stall on you so just come off the clutch and make sure you're aware of what's happening in front of you because there are students and there are pedestrians in the yard at all times so you always have to be aware so once you get started driving in the yard, you're going to go around the yard and head towards the gate or the exit. You are not allowed to shift in the yard. I repeat, do not shift in the yard. Once you get to the gate, you're going to come to a complete stop before you turn either right or left and you're going to follow the instructor's directions. The instructor is then going to tell you you're going to stop fully, look both ways, and then you're going to start off in fourth. That's right. I said fourth gear when you're going onto the road. All right. So when you're coming in, when you're starting off in fourth, same thing. You're not going to press on the clutch and the gas. And now we have to talk about making turns properly. All right. So that's the first thing that we're going to be focusing on, is making your turns properly. So you're going to have to make a either right or left turn out of the gate. In most cases, it's going to be a left turn. Now, out of our gate, there is a two-way road with a solid yellow line there. The proper way to make proper turning is you always have to go to the center of the intersection before you turn which means I want those front two tires of your tractor to cross that solid yellow line in the center of the road before you even start to turn. The reason is you have a big trailer behind you and you definitely do not want to mess up the trailer. Now, that's right, I said you can cross the yellow lines. Yellow lines on the street does not matter for anything. The only thing that does matter are curves. You touch one curb for the test and you fail. And we don't want to see that to happen. So. As you're getting onto the road, make sure you come off the clutch. Do not press on the gas until your foot is completely off the clutch. You're going to only turn when you're in the middle of the road, which means your front two tires has crossed the solid yellow lines, and then you're going to make a left turn. Then you're going to straighten out the vehicle. Do not shift until the instructor tells you to. In the beginning, we just want you to get a feel for the vehicle itself. The instructor is then going to tell you to perform an upshift or downshift. At this point, all he has to say is, okay, upshift. Okay, downshift. When you're upshifting and downshifting, I know that if this is your first time inside a truck on the road, there's a lot of things to look out for. We have to be careful. What I do not want you to forget is this whole shifting thing, if you remember from the training, is all about the RPMs. 
So make sure you don't forget to look at the RPM gauge. And there's two numbers not to forget. Do you know what they are? That's right, 1600 and 1200. So the instructor is going to get loud in most cases and he's not yelling at you. He just has to talk over the loud engine noise of the vehicle itself. This is a scary thing for both students and instructors alike. So let's try to make it as safe as possible by following these simple rules that I just laid out for you there. So in the beginning, like I said, you're not gonna shift until the instructor tells you to shift and you're gonna focus on what's in front of you, also scanning your mirrors, but mostly look at those RPMs before you shift. The instructor is then gonna walk you through the course and he's gonna make, tell you way in advance either to make a right turn or a left turn and he's also gonna tell you when to downshift. As he feels that you're more comfortable, he's then gonna give you more freedom to shift when you want to shift. But in the beginning, we have to test and train on your shifting abilities. So we're gonna make you shift more often than you would in real life just so you get the feeling for it. So this is a quick video explaining what you have to expect when you're going onto the road and make sure you follow everything that I said and your first time on the road is gonna be a piece of cake. Thanks, have a great day.